outside. Getting ready for my trip. <laughs> you know, this filming is should be like the Truman Show sometimes. It's too bright. It's too sunny. Hi, I'm Jenny, and I give you the pit stop of Austin. I uh, finally made it to where I needed to be. And check-in is a quarter mile up the road at the little restaurant. And so I'm gonna change in my car because it's freezing and then go up the road because I don't have room key until I check in. <laughs> this is my cute little room. It is so sweet. There's a little microwave and refrigerator. Uh, there's a television up there if I'd like to watch that. And here's a bathroom. There is a tub. Yay! Because I don't have a tub at home and I never get to have enough tubs. And then my car's right there. It's very quiet in town in the evening. But my room is very cute and sweet and I'm really excited to go up. They have homemade fried chicken and biscuits for dinner. And there's also pizza. I'm gonna get chicken and biscuits and unload my stuff. But anyways, ugh. I'm gonna put my hair down. Oh, hi, there's Jenny. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, we got chickens cruising, and there's a cat over there. Hi! Hi there! How's it going? How's it going, buddy? All right, look at that stretch. Are you going in my room? I really don't think that's a good idea. No, I don't think that's the best idea. Although, you're like Wilson. Wilson likes to try to sneak in the rooms. So this right here is the Little Town Restaurant. It's the only restaurant in town and it's open from five to 10 every evening except for Thursday. Now that's a much better view from across the street. Um, it's right to the left of the Magnolia Gallery and Inn, which is not an inn anymore. That is the Ray up the road. That's somebody's lovely house right there. I can hear them in their backyard. That sounds just amazingly fabulous. Like there's nobody here in town, but everybody's coming for food. There is a bar in town called the Owl Bar. I think they closed early this evening because it was already mellow. And we're gonna walk up the hill tomorrow to that church. I have no idea about where I am. Excited to stay here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We'll pop over there in the morning. I already found that's where the Veterans Memorial is. Here's the Austin Library. And Nevada's oldest bank building. What? The highway dedicated to the Abraham Lincoln. It's got an L. This is some kind of marker. WP35. I'm walking back to the hotel. I got a boot and an old bottle. Really, I stopped because I want to know what this arrow is. There's an arrow marker with a penny on it. So I'm staying at the Cozy Mountain Hotel. And it truly is the Cozy Mountain Hotel. There's a little office and I will be able to get coffee in the morning there. Vladimir is the gray cat. I don't know where he's at. He's, he's, not, he's not here at the moment. This is a little different. Usually I have some form of a plan. I know it may not look like it, but generally I know what I'm doing. My Goldfield has going to the Goldfield days. If I have a story, because I love a story, then I go there and tell the story. This is completely different. I was basically gifted by generous viewers like you. I'll have to include their names here to put me in some place safe. Because, but thanks to generous viewers like here, I got to spend the night here, and so I'm just gonna go outside. We're gonna check out the town. It's really small. Got the keys. Which I do. I don't see Vladimir. <gasps> Oops, I scared the birds away. I put a bunch of bird seed out where those birds are right there. Because for my viewers who are new, I travel with bird seed. I really enjoy making sure the birds in the world are taken care of. Now, the town itself is really small. Welcome to Austin. That's the beginning. And Stokes Castle goes up the road. And then 
the rest of the town just is up this road. It's about eight in the morning. Let's see what we can find. The town itself was put on the map because of silver. Lots of silver mining. This is a really neat little mural that's on the side of a now defunct hotel. The Lincoln Motel is currently for sale. I did see in 2019 it was still open. Let's go find some more murals. There we look like we got some murals across the street. This is an international cafe and we'll hit this side of the street up on the way back. I want to check out this little Austin library. It says it's the first bank building in Nevada. Like I'm extremely fascinated by those few houses that are right up there on the hill. Does somebody live in there? Are those old? They've got a beautiful view. We'll see what happens when I go up the road that way. I was walking past this, which looks like an old general store. And then it's all locked up. But if you look inside, can we see inside? It's really hard to kind of see inside. The windows are so dirty. But I can wipe this off right here. If you look in there and then look way in the back, It's got the old school Playboy black covers that used to be in front of the Playboy magazines on the magazine rack. So I have no idea how long this place has been closed. It was open back when they used to sell naughty nudies in the store. The Owl Club is actually a functioning bar. You can come here at night and have a beer. I didn't get to go in last night because they were closed early. The hours are whatever the hours would like to be, kind of, sort of. Oh, there's the building I'm looking for. And without any information, this is Nevada's oldest bank building. And I really like the detail up on the top with the brickwork. And this is the book drop. And this is the, the library. So I'm curious. It looks like this used to be a bar also. But I really like the brickwork. I mean, I'm going to guess that that might have been added later. I don't think that that was in the front of the bank building. I'm assuming. Um, there's lots of turquoise and trading posts. When we turn the corner here, um, I want to know what that is. I'm going to just walk up here and see. It's a really neat old building. I mean, everything in this town is really old. It's the American Legion post. On South Street. Oh, and there's that house. So yeah, somebody owns that property. I can't go back there. But that's how you would get to that one little house. This is building number six of the tour that I don't know about. This is the old city hall. And it looks like it's been placed on the National Historic Registry. That's a new building and I'm not going to go up the road really. It's probably not a good idea. Look at that. <laughs> That's someone's property. That's prime. It's like surrounded by trees. And as you go down, you'll see it's got a nice fence. We'll go up the road to that church here in a minute. I filmed him last night, but I noticed he's got a marking. His name is Smitty, and he was painted in June of 1980. And there's Good old Schmitty. It's 
So this, I guess, might be the turquoise capital of Nevada? Because I know turquoise is huge in Arizona. There's um, custom jewelry. This is trading post. I'm really surprised they've got that colored glass, though, in the direct sun. I like colored glass, and I don't keep mine in the direct sun. And well, there's the hardware supply store. There's grandma's place. That's where I had dinner last night. But we'll come up around the corner here. It's Austin Garage. I do know on the, when you come in from the south, there are two RV places. There's the fire station. Oh, there's a historic courthouse. Let's go check that out. Here is the historic Lander Courthouse. I guess it's number 16 on the walking tour that I don't know about. Also, there's apparently a passport for Highway 50. As much as I've gone up and down Highway 50 and I've got myself a cool little pin, I just discovered after walking around town, apparently there's some kind of passport I should be stamping. Not exactly sure. Now, I really like how all these buildings, oh, they got a little area where you can, oh, look at that stairwell. Wow, look at that. Glad I turned the corner. That's some masonry right there. Look at that stonework. Oh man, the wall goes all the way around. That's pretty impressive. Let's go up these stairs. Oh, and here's all kinds of brands. Look at that. Those are cattle brands. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive. I'm sure somebody's gonna tell me in the comments what those are, but those look a heck of a lot like cattle brands. I'm gonna go up these old stairs. Wow, they're really short. Like, you see they only have like a four or five inch like step to them. You would not want to be running up and down these steps for exercise. <laughs> like the tiniest steps ever. And yes, private property. I'm not going to go up in somebody's house, but I'm just going up the stairs because that's what we do. Ah, I don't know if you can see that wall. This overlooks this way. Oh, look at that. I'm just walking around town. One of the things about walking around these really old towns is you gotta be very cautious and respectful. So I walked up those stairs and poof, I'm in somebody's property. But that's okay, you just don't go in the property. You just gotta remember not every place that looks like it's old and abandoned is actually old and abandoned, especially in these old towns that are functioning. So always be respectful, but let's keep going because we're going to go around the corner and then I want to walk up to see that church. It's pretty impressive. I really like the super old fashioned fire escape. That's right. They're nice. Yeah, look, it's got those brands all along the outside. <laughs> that was just a smiley face. <laughs> Let's get back out on the road. Looks like there's an old gas station up ahead of us. And I'm just going to go up to where the bend is. Right there is a really sweet little house. But right next to the courthouse is the sheriff's station. So if you need anything, he's there. Across the street, we've got Austin Medical Equipment. And this just looks like an old gas station that doesn't work. Um, I wonder what year it closed because... It looks reasonably upgraded. It's just empty. 
there is gas in Austin at the bottom of the hill. That is where I go and always fill up for gas. Oh, we got another church. So what were the competing religions? Was one Catholic and one Protestant? Because they have two large churches in one place. The town has a literally, well currently right now it has 200 people living here. Okay, this place, I wonder if this is the place that has burgers for lunch. Somebody around here has burgers in the afternoon. I just know there's no breakfast at all. It looks like the cafe closed at the first lockdown in 2020 and then never reopened. That seems to be the case with a lot of the little restaurants in town. I'm not sure if that's the case with all the different uh, businesses, but that's definitely the case with a lot of the food places. All right, so we have St. George's Episcopal Church. So this is an Episcopal Church. Definitely was built some time ago. The brickwork on it is beautiful. Kind of classical design of the church. It's number five on the walking tour I don't know about. And it really looks like, oh, I love the wood shutters. That's kind of cool. There's St. Francis. Looks like they have a modern retaining wall. Reasonable size parking lot. Roof looks like it might have been added later. Wonder if I can see inside. No, can't really see inside, but that's okay. So one church is Episcopalian. I'll look it up after I get home and see maybe when it was built. Because I just, it just seems fascinating to me on a side note, just walking around. Oh my gosh, I think there's three churches in town. Hold on a second. Yes, I have now discovered there's three churches. So that church over there is the one that I saw last night and was like, oh, well, that's really impressive. And look, at it's in the center of town. Okay, well, here's the Episcopalian church on the south end of town. And then I look across the street and there's another church. And I don't, that's just, like I said, the town right now is 200 people. Obviously, there's something going on because that's three really large churches. How big was this town when it was big? We will find out. We got the post office. Mail some postcards out. Hold on a second though. Last night I saw a Lincoln thing in front of the Lincoln Motel and assumed that they were connected. But now I'm looking at this here and that's not, that doesn't, that's not anywhere near a Lincoln Hotel. So everybody, we need to find out what these L things are. Cause there's something. This is the Austin Museum. I'm gonna go check to see what their hours are. Maybe they'll be open for me to check in with them and ask some questions. Let's take a look. Okay, they're only open on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which makes sense because this is a really, really small town. That's a bummer. We're gonna have to find out ourselves. Oh my gosh, look at that little house. Little garage somebody turned into a little shop. Seriously, I love this place. I love Nevada everywhere I go. I'm like, I'm gonna buy a place here. I wanna live here. <laughs> So I've come to the end of the sidewalk. The up the road is a public park, but I'm gonna turn around and go back down the other side of the town, go check out those two churches. But again, I'm standing here filming and I look over and there's some weird old thing stuck inside the wall. So let's go figure out what that is. <laughs> also note to self, I really could use prescription sunglasses. 
I think that'd be awesome. Okay, is that an incinerator? I kind of think that might be. That's kind of neat. Can like, no? That's what I think that is. Can I open it? No, it's shut. I think this is like an incinerator just built in somebody's backyard. That's kind of cool. I don't even think that's old. Because that looks like a little chimney. Oh, the things you find when you just go slow. <laughs> oh, I love this guy's sense of humor. Okay, we've got my flower bed. And it's got this really beautiful old flower mattress bed. And then over here is his skunk crossing. <laughs> a little bridge. <laughs> so it reminds me a lot of Tonopah because Tonopah is like this that there's just like little old houses everywhere mixed in with like refurbished houses or new houses okay they have a senior center and there's the second well technically the third church I'm going to go up the next street and see what that's all about I hear construction. The barn at the Leland house. So the Leland house must be something special. Oh, there's another one of those L's. What the heck is with those L's? Really cute little house though. And obviously, I will have to interject some kind of Leland history because there's got to be a reason why we have a note that says, hey, this is the Leland house. There's always a reason for stuff, people. Look at that old fashioned gate. That's an old school gate. Yep, the Leland house. Okay, we're going to go up 6th Street here. It's right next to the medical center. And this should take us right there to that church. Go see what we got. This church definitely does not look like it's functioning still. Very similar to the architecture, but also different. And I know from classes I took with architecture that I should be able to tell what kind of church this was. Okay, this is number four on the unofficial walking tour. It's the old Methodist church. So I met this really nice gentleman named Mike who lives up right above the church. He bought the old pastoral home because this church is not functioning anymore as a church. This church is now a community center. This building has been sold off and is private property. He explained to me that you can rent this church for a wedding there's been different conventions he said to pop into there right down below county building god i can't talk i need some breakfast the only church that is functioning is the episcopalian church across the street but we're still going to go to the catholic church and check it out because they apparently refurbished it and fixed it up it looks like they were maybe going to reopen it but no they haven't another totally random thing I'm noticing because that's what I do I notice little things but forget big things like jackets and pants um, <laughs> is that almost every single residence that I've come across has a hand pump a water hand pump in the front yard that's old-fashioned and I got the update from Mike who was really friendly he gave me all kinds of info um, he gave me a campground that's 15 miles from here that I might want to check out on the way back that has a creek running through it and he also told me there's 128 people now living in Austin walking on this little street there's a door <laughs> on the second floor <laughs> but no stairs to get down uh... And the church is right here. All three of those churches are so close to each other.
Now, I would have guessed this is a Catholic church before anybody told me, based on the stained glass windows. But yes, here's the Catholic church. Thank you, Landers Commission of Tourism. But I can tell that they have been working on the floors. And let's go around to the front. We've got some nice mason work. Oh, look at that neat old building. Across the street. This is the non-ADA way up the stairs. <laughs> and there's like a little parking lot. Oh, look at that. They got some of the old bricks here. And St. Augustine's Church. Here's the name of this church. And like Mike mentioned to me, They are fixing up the church. See, water, water pump. Every single house has a water pump. Is that for emergencies? Obviously, because there must be water inside. I mean, old buildings just look like they're historical because they're old. <laughs> We're gonna go down here and get back on the main street. Okay, so I'm gonna walk back the way I came so I can go back down on the main street because I just missed like half of the stores <laughs> going looking for churches. I'll have to figure out when all those were built. And it's officially nine in the morning so we'll see if anything opens up. I really don't think there's really anything to open up around here but that's okay. We're still gonna <laughs> we're gonna check it out. And here we go. St. George Episcopal Church to the east, St. Augustine's Catholic Church to the west, and the Methodist Church to the north. Everything I needed to know is right here on this historical state marker number 67. Thank you, Austin Chamber of Commerce. I did not have to use Google one more time. Woo! Here is a really old gas station you know some of these buildings are just so old that i'm not sure how you would bring them back Ooh, this one's got trophies in the window though oh look at the trophies i wonder what they're for yeah they're like car trophies i don't even think you can see them can you see them no all you see is my reflection okay you can't see but i can see from inside the window that those trophies are from the Tonopah Speedway and Battle Mountain Raceway. I got 94 trophies, 1994 trophies. I've got 2005 trophies. Somebody in here, oh, there's more trophies. There's trophies everywhere in this place. Seriously, some man has got all kinds of trophies in there and they're just all going to waste because we don't know all the things that he won. Like for real, there's trophies on the ground. There's trophies in a box. There's trophies on the wall on the side. Well, whoever you are that won all those trophies, good job, hot dog high five. Let's go over, see what's in here. And we are back downtown. This is the Masonic Lodge, number 15 on our unofficial walking tour. Another place of historic registry, um, just like Goldfield. And the parlor room is, oh, the Magnolia Inn. I love their sign. <laughs> 
I don't know. It doesn't look like they're open though. This is the super yummy little restaurant that I ate at last night from the people who own the Cozy Mountain Hotel and the hardware store. Keys made here. Oh, look at that old sign. And you can see my motel is right up here. This would be the small public area that explains a lot of the history of Austin and also has a public restroom and a few memorials we'll go check out. But as you can see, there's just some different boards. We've got the public restrooms. Oh, this man, Gridley. I gotta go up to the Gridley store. Hey, these are all the things that I can go do. And if you branch off from Austin, let's take a look here. The Bob Scott Campground. I want to go to that. I definitely want to go to that. And Big Creek. Those two places for sure. Spencer Hot Springs. I know Sarah goes there a lot. Spencer Hot Springs is here. That's not... I'm going that way. What is this? The Sazerac Lion Club. And the perfect place for a selfie. Wait, we got one more. Here is their Veterans Memorial. From the American Legion post, which we saw the American Legion building. It's a lovely little memorial. It's just a little facade of some old time bar. But look at that Coors sign. That's a classic. Looks like there used to be coffee here. Austin Commercial Company. Some really neat old pictures of Austin back in the day. So this castle was built for some man's son. Stokes built this castle for his son. It's on our list. I'm just noticing. Look at that giant mirror behind that man. That is a giant mirror. I just love all the shelves. Nice and neat. Silver State drinks pool saloon. I didn't I don't see nothing. This says breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but uh, it's not open. There's the barber shop and Ghost Riders, Guides, and Outfitters. This is the Austin Youth Center. Oh, here, I wanted to see this, actually. Isn't this a nice, the June 2016 local art. And then it looks like this didn't quite get finished, but, you know. This little international cafe, the neon signs are lit, so they weren't lit when I left walking this morning, so I'm sure that's open now. 
And at the end of the sidewalk, we've got this little shop with a privy out back. We got Dave's tree service. Always love a good bucket truck. From here, I pack up and head to Stokes Castle, the Gridley store. I might even stop at the local park. So happy to have spent this time with you walking through Austin, which on a side note, seems to be dying and I'm not quite sure why. Talk to a couple locals, but I think more investigation is needed before any statements are made. It's just really sad to see because it's really a quaint town that has so much potential. Remember to be grateful, make good choices in your own adventures, and I'll catch you at the castle.